on this month's Community Quarter, sponsored by People's Bank, we are discussing Bay State Children's Hospital's 22nd Annual Radiothon. Joining me is Matt Bannister, Senior Vice President of Marketing and Corporate Responsibility with People's Bank, and Kathy Tobin, Director of Annual Giving and Events with Bay State, to share all the details. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Kathy, what is the Radiothon? So this is an opportunity for the community to come out and support Bay State Children's Hospital. We have a very um, large catchment area, all of Western Massachusetts. We're the only fully licensed comprehensive children's hospital. So we do everything from a dedicated children's emergency department through inpatient care. And um, children's hospitals cannot exist without philanthropic funding mm -hmm. because the reimbursement rates are lower. And let's face it, when a child is involved, the whole family needs to be involved in that care. So um, it's an expensive but very worthwhile undertaking. And this is our chance with friends like People's Bank to ask for support and get help so we can provide the very best care to our children. And in my case, my grandchildren. <laughs> and how can people watching right now get involved and help with the Radiothon? Well, March 7th and 8th, we'll be having our Radiothon down at the Basketball Hall of Fame. 94.7 will be broadcasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I know your team here at WWLP will be out in force. We will be. And we'll be spreading the word, asking the community to come down, uh, make a donation, uh, see some of our local celebs who will be down and about and meet our children's champions and others who will be on hand. We'll be telling stories about the care that we offer and the need that exists and some of the advances that have been made because of great um, leaps in you know medical technology. So it's really a fun two days of learning. Um, we have many companies that come on board and sponsor us and we couldn't do it without any of them. And then the public really can play a role by committing to um, support children's health care. And Matt, why did People's Bank want to get involved? So this is actually our first year involved with the Radiothon. And I think probably two reasons. One is, as, as Kathy said, children's hospitals are so important for the region. And the healthcare profession has been through so much the last couple of years, <laughs> especially the hospitals on the front lines. You don't really think about pediatric care in until you need it and then you can think about nothing but you know and so it was a way for us to step up and support the children's hospital the other is honestly um, some events you know all events are created equal some are more equal than others you know in the radiothon and the rays of hope that Bay State does as well are both such fantastic events that we wanted to get involved so it's a good cause but also it's a great event and Kathy, you said that you share some of the stories. Why would you say it is so important to share those stories and share what Bay State does to give people a better understanding? Well, you know, there's lots of need in our community. That's, um, you know, no secret. But I think you have to make your case and explain what it is you're doing with responsibility to the people who support you. And so by hearing personal stories, I think we all respond and react. Um, you know, fundraising is a second career for me, and I came to it because I really believe that if you tell people and educate them about need, they do the right thing. We live in a very generous, wonderful community, and by telling the stories, you put faces and names to issues that you might not otherwise know about, and then people have the opportunity to help. And Matt, being mm -hmm. vo involved for the first yep. time this year, how would you encourage people to help and to go out to the Radiothon? Well, I'd, certainly everyone's encouraged to donate because the money is needed and it's for a great cause. Um, you can also answer the phones and volunteer to help out as well. And so donate uh, or come on out and support or even just come and be part of the whole ambiance. Being at the Basketball Hall of Fame, there'll be a lot of public walking through. There's sort of an energy and excitement in the air. And so it's an event. So even if you're not involved, come on out and watch. So people can answer phones, of course, donate as well. Where can they find out all the information and ways to get involved? Well, you can go to our website. Um, we have it on the screen for you. And um, we ha will have phone numbers active. So you can either give online, you can text to give, you can make a phone call donation. And, um, you know, we're always available at Bay State Health. Uh, dot com um, slash events. We have um, a full calendar and we have a lovely staff that's ready to help you be involved at the point and extent that you can be. If people just have to make a phone call or even make a text, 
it's very simple to do. We it text is. all the time, yep. you know? Yep. That's why we added it, because my children told me, you know, Mom, people don't have checkbooks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's true, you know, the texting yep. is an easy way. But whatever way you give, even if it's bringing your little piggy bank down, we'll yeah. take um, <laughs> penny donations. Yeah. We're, we're happy to have you be involved. I know we're excited to be there, and I thank you both for coming on today to talk about it. Good luck with it. I'm sure we'll see you there, though. Thank, yeah, you, thank so you so much. Thank you both. Yep. Thanks, Matt. For more information on how People's Bank supports the community, visit bankatpeoples.com. This segment was sponsored by People's Bank.